I've spent most of my professional life inventing things. Gadgets, mechanical, electrical, and electronic, and some of those devices have been for old people to make it easier for them to be independent. But three years ago, I had something which was almost akin to religious conversion. Because by examining the economic state in which a country finds itself, I came to the conclusion that only a very small number of people who were really quite critically ill would be able to receive support from the state and somehow or other the community, that's us, will have to look after the social care of the remainder of the aging population. Now to do that, you have to find a way of making many, many more people interested in care. And to do that, they would do it as volunteers, they would do it for philanthropic reasons, but most of all, they may do it for reasons because they themselves are concerned about who's going to care for them when they get old. So Care for Care was born. And the basic principle is that younger people, and by younger people I mean people who would be well into their 60s or even their early 70s, do something which is useful to the community, but usually concerned with caring. And for every hour which they spend, they get a credit of an hour on their care account. And when they, are, when they get old and require care for themselves, that is the source of payment for the care. They simply trade the hours which they've accumulated back again and get the care for the next generation, uh, which will want to build up their care credit, so that they in turn will have the security and the entitlement to be cared for when they get old. Now the beauty of the system is it uses an alternative currency. It doesn't use money because it only uses the hour, and the hour can't be, can't be changed by inflation, the hour is constant, as it were, and it is really a way of getting people to work a bit harder to get us out of our economic difficulties. Working harder means that those three or four or five hours a week which you spend are really extra work which you do, and they're equivalent to a pension payment. You're buying yourself a pension in kind, but it's a care pension by working for those extra hours uh, for perhaps 20 years of your life. Now I've done the sums and it isn't totally unrealistic. I've calculated how many care hours somebody who is old and may live into their 90s actually requires and I've also calculated how many care hours would be possible to accumulate without going mad about it or doing an awful lot of hours per week four, five, six hours um, a week would be quite adequate. So, if we are going to be fair to our old people, and if we want ourselves to look forward to a relatively comfortable old age with a high quality of life, something akin to care for care has to happen. There is no other way, because there is no money to pay for it, and so a moneyless system is the only way in which we can actually achieve our objectives. Thank you.